Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying crop rotation. Crop rotation is, um, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything in it. It's a bit of a roguelike, a bit of a deck builder, kind of an auto chess game. And that's the options menu, by the way, in case you wanted to see what that looks like. Unlock all modes immediately? Nah, we'll see what unlocks look like. Uh, game does have a meta progression, but it's like my favorite kind of meta progression in that it uh, adds replayability and more ways to play the game rather than just like, oh, you uh, met the stone wall that you didn't have enough like X, Y, and Z points in and now you have to go and buy X, Y, and Z points with your meta points and your zeta points and your zappy wacky points by purchasing cr3000 you are one step closer to achieving your dream of becoming the best automation farmer cr3000 is the latest and greatest of automated farming technology please refer to the instruction manual provided for more information as per the loan agreement you are required to repay the loan by the end of the year we will also be collecting weekly payment please note that if you fail to pay the weekly amount the farm and machine will be confiscated okay that's pretty straightforward we are in the far off dystopian future where we gotta uh, pay pay bills oh wait uh yeah anyway gain 15 water at the start of the day so we gain a little bit of water and um that's get that gets like automate uh automatically distributed and we're gonna pick some foods to plant so all of these foods have different traits fruit spicy fruit sour root sweet those are your synergies the more like roots you have uh the better the more sour foods you have the better and then you're also going to be building up like kind of combo upgrades that build on those things on mature gain three value if adjacent to wet and then we also have wet that's another of these kind of uh, uh synergistic uh, tr tags if adjacent to vegetables so bell pepper is a fruit and spicy we don't have any vegetables on the board here gain if water cost is less than five this is a carrot might be good for the early game because if i can keep my water costs low then i'll get some more money and then I can just sell them later. On mature gain three value if adjacent to sour. On while on farm gain two value uh, after every ten cards played. This is a kind of this is a scaling plant. This one will scale over time. Gain two value if adjacent to two or more empty plots. This one's kind of nice for the early game as well, maybe. I actually, I, I, I did win a game and I did it with mostly those kind of plants that, you know, gained based on how many empty spots they were next to and then you can kind of like really like there's a little bit of positional um strategy in this game as well on mature gain two value if water is at least 135 that might be good actually because it might combo with my keep my costs low because then i'm saving my water and i'm also uh keeping my water above a certain amount uh, on mature add one value to adjacent crops so this one just kind of buffs the other crops let's go for this rice we've got a few plants to, to plant We've got some some fruits gain two value if adjacent to two or more. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Planting ha happens automatically. You actually don't get to choose where things get planted. I believe watering also happens uh, automatically. So you just kind of have to like hope you get the right position. Now, the thing is, I did say there was positioning strategy and there is because the thing is you can kind of manipulate your farm uh, so that the right plants end up in the right places. It's gonna automatically plant those. And I guess it planted all of them because there were available plots for each of those. So uh, never mind. Uh, but what we could do is if we wanted to, uh, I, like I could tear up, sell a plant, and then that would give us more value for the, the orange. But the or we actually got lucky positioning. The orange got placed next to an empty plot. Our water right now is 150. So the rice did uh, get extra value and the carrot on uh, play gain three value if water cost is less than five not sure what our water costs are right now i think it's 15 harvest five cr fruit crops so these are contracts now we're going to be um taking one that we think that we have the best chance of achieving and one nice thing uh, this game does a very good job of like letting you know right away what you have the best chance. like it's very transparent about what you have you don't have to remember things right so like Harvest for uh, 14 common crops. It lets you know down here that, hey, all of these crops that you have in your position, those are all common crops. So you're already like part part way there, right? We also want to have a look at our rewards, right? We want to get an idea of what, uh, what kind of reward we're getting. So this one is when a root crop matures, gain four water if it is adjacent to vegetable or fruit. 
So this is pretty good because we actually do have one root vegetable. This one is passive gain 10 gold for every 60 farm water gained. So um, I was going to say this game actually kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Balatro. Balatro. That's what I that's what I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, I mean, it has the vibe of like you kind of do what you think you can get away with a little bit. So let's have a look here. When a crop, a crop matures, it gains two value if sweet and sweet sour set bonus is active okay um well let's take this middle one this seems to be uh, probably the easiest one to take and then we kind of know what we're going for i mean we're always going to be grabbing common for at least the first few days on play gain three value if water cost is less than five uh, interesting i don't know how i'm going to keep those costs down but we only need to do common plants so let's just get some more of this rice and that'll start planting so then now that we've made a little bit of money we have exactly 10 uh from harvest we do need to, um, you know, obviously make our, our, our next payment. But um, in the meantime, you know, we, we it's all about expansion. We want to expand as much as possible. Now, you would maybe question why why expand now? I only have four plants um, or four crops, so there's not really much to gain from expansion. Though that is true, we kind of want to hope we get lucky and maybe the orange will end up next to an empty spot. So it would actually profit us a little bit. Um, so this is definitely the kind of game that's going to reward like a, a few playthroughs to understand what kind of crops and there are and like how they work and how best to manage them. So we're going to plant all our crops. Did we get lucky? We didn't get lucky with the, the orange. Oops, that's that's a bummer. But we still have enough water. Uh, we're getting water from our upgrades here, although it's not going to tell us our our current water upgrades but we're still 100 over 150 so those rice gain a certain amount of value each gain two value so um they both got two value and we made a bunch of money we're good we're actually we're, we we made a bit more money than in last rotation so let's see here passive when a crop matures it gains two value if there are, are, are at least 16 crops in the farm this is a very late game crop uh, a reward passive daily one uh, limit one spreads flower to adjacent unused plot after it is played interesting and then when a crop matures it gains two value if there are at least one crops of each flavor on the farm <laughs> that's an interesting one this one uh very much encourages variety we only have the one carrot but we could go for another root we've got a root here on add one value to adjacent crops so let's go ahead and grab that that'll mean we have another um root and then we can start trying to you know get that contract done and you know if i keep spending our money we're never gonna make our payment but you know you gotta spend money to make money so we're gonna uh expand our our farm plant our crops we still didn't get lucky with the orange but that's okay we're still managing to keep above that line for the race those rice are gonna be good early game i feel like this is a very addictive game like once you get into the swing of things you're you're really like you <laughs> it's it's really addictive it's very much like a one more one more game kind of kind of game um so what is this when a crop matures it gains two value if bitter and sour set bonus is active oh this one's harvest five seed crops so we only have rice but we have two rice whereas this one's harvest 11 tier one crops we have five crops and we'll likely get some uh, like another one so we'll be able to knock this one out in two rotations we might be able to knock this one out in two rotations. It's, this one, it, it comes down to really what kind of reward do we want? Let's do this one on the left side. And then we're going to want more bitter plants, I think. Oh, no, we, I guess we want more. Hold on. Let's have a look at that one. Seed crops. We want more seed crops. And I like how it even highlights the plants at the bottom left. Oh yeah, there's one. There's there's more. I there's there's a lot. There's there's a lot in this game. Hold on. So there's no there is a seed plant. So we'll grab this one. Card sells for above market value. Sell for 25 gold. So here's the here's the other thing you can do, is um the game plants. I think it plants these in order, left to right. I'm gonna keep keep an eye on that. But I'm pretty sure it does. I think the location is random. But how you position these plants is actually gonna ha make a difference but it's a subtle strategy you kind of have to you know you gotta watch it over time and see wh how, how like what difference it makes um but there there is actually a purpose in like how you arrange these over here um we should be able to knock out our root crops and common crops contracts in this next one um i still want to expand the farm 
we are still okay for four more harvests and we should be able to make plenty we, we, we should have plenty of money ah the orange got lucky so we got one uh, one empty spot the well we would have liked that onion to be better positioned and then yeah like you can you you might have noticed like uh so each of those tags sweet or sorry seed wet uh bitter root herb those all have bonuses associated with like how many you're planting at once when a root crop matures gains four water if it is adjacent to vegetable or fruit well, that's pretty good that's almost everything well it's not everything <laughs> it's, it's a lot of things so we got that done and passive when a crop matures it gains two value if there are at least one crops of each flavor on the farm i don't know if we are gonna achieve that one but we'll try this one is when a fruit or seed matures it gains three value if it is adjacent to fruit or seed that's pretty good when a crop matures it gains two value if there are at least 16 crops on the farm we're getting there but yeah it's gonna take a while draft a daily crop after every 40 crop cards played i, I think i want to go for this one and uh, we only have one fruit we only have one bitter so i guess we're going for this middle one i don't want to skip this one i don't know if um skipping is ever encouraged chance common crop uncommon okay so this tells us how likely it is for us to get an uncommon crop we could skip it for more money but i think i do want to make sure we have one of all flavors but i think the point is that you want to try and sift out a lot of the noise and find a strategy that works for you and also like kind of slim things down to like a number of synergies and combos that are you know working and then um, just kind of like combo that up to the end of the game so we got we got nine fields now let's see our orange did get lucky there that was actually well that was pretty good let me see here on mature gain three value if adjacent to sour was it adjacent no it wasn't adjacent to sour uh gain three water if water cost is less than five i actually think it did get that because i think the was it our um root vegetable uh bonus kept the cost low um you can only have a certain like so many upgrades by the way and then you have to buy more slots so you do have to be kind of selective about your upgrades at least in the early game and then hopefully you find a combo that works yeah let's let's just see how it goes it does place them in order but it does randomly place them that seemed to be a pretty good uh amount i think we did get our set bonus for this yeah it added plus two value to everything um we don't have our bitter uh bitter or sour bonus yet so this didn't add any value um not yet I, I i think this is a consumable i have to spend that before i do anything but yeah every everything seems very happy green gain three value if adjacent to a vegetable it was adjacent to it wasn't adjacent to a vegetable unfortunately oh it, you know no it was it was adjacent to a um, beet but did it get that bonus base value two bell pepper plus three i guess that is the increase in value and then the flavoring permit is our our passive bonus um harvest four wet crops we could really double down on these bitter and sour upgrades even though we don't have any when a herb crop matures or withers if it is adjacent to spicy or bitter all adjacent crops gain three value and then this is a oh this is a passive at the end of the day gain three water for each unused plot so this one really values unused plots um and again you can really double down on that as a strategy you can like keep your the number of your crops very low but then you keep your farm quite large and then you have a lot of unused crops you keep your water high and then you you know like you build that synergy we need more space so i'm going to go ahead and upgrade this and this and um that's gonna allow us to expand a bit um this is a flower wet this is our first flower no co uncommons yet we still haven't gotten any uncommons water is at least 135. so this one will uh really benefits us having a lot of water seed sour seeds are seed and sour are actually quite good for us so i think i want to grab this one sell a car sell a card to gain a common card 
excluding coffee bean at the start of the next day. Now, I don't want to do that, but this is actually really good for us. Let me see here. Which is the one that likes to be next to vegetables? This one. Gain three value if adjacent to a vegetable. So what I could do is like I could try and place all of our vegetables next to that one. Although I, I really only have the one. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, never mind. <laughs> so we need to make our payment in one harvest, which is fine. We are totally good for that. And then this is, oh yeah, we can sell this. Draft a daily crop after every 40 crops placed. I'm not sure when this is going to pay off. When a root crop matures, gain four water if it is adjacent to vegetable or fruit. This one is also like, I, I, it might be good. We do have a lot of roots. Um, let's just keep going. So our bell pepper didn't end up next to a vegetable. Probably my farm pattern here is not very good, but still we're going to we're going to make some money. That's 54 coin. That's that's really quite good. Required to pay the loan payment or the farm will be confiscated. So now we get new contracts with two rewards each. After an uncommon or rare crop matures, it gains four value. That just like makes rare value uh, rare crops better. So that seems really good. So let's grab that. Uh, and then we get, this is our, our first tool anymore. We could use this, but then we get a higher chance of an uncommon. And we also have, get to stay in control of what kind of synergies we're building. I actually think that's really cool. Let's grab the shears. And I still want to build on sour. So I'm going to go ahead and um, grab this fruit sour. Seed sour would actually be pretty good too. Although we already have coffee bean, right? We don't have any slots, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pay some more money. Let's unlock this one and unlock... Uh, oh, not enough gold. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Ah, shoot. Okay, that's fine. We'll move this one down here, and then we'll take this kiwi. Oh, it's going to give us even more. I can't really afford to... Maybe we can sell one of these guys and then buy another slot. Let's sell that one. Put this over here. Yeah, this one gains benefits if it's next to sour. So we are kind of doubling down on sour. But what we can do now, see, is we could put the shears in front of this one and hopefully like we still get a vegetable root and maybe an uncommon one and then it'll wither it and we'll be good. What's our next payment? 80. Our next payment needs to be 80. We got to make sure we get another bidder in the next rotation. Okay, good to know. So did our, our shears didn't seem to do it? Maybe I'm wrong about how that works. Let's go ahead and unlock that and unlock that. And we'll be able to take this. End of day, all crops gain one value for every 40, 40 farm water gained. I think we can we can do something with that. And we, we are on the track for that. We need, uh, I think we need more bitter. Let's try re-rolling this. Root dry, that's our first dry. Not seeing any bitter, unfortunately. But we'll grab this. We're gonna need to unlock another slot. Do we have enough money? No, we don't. So we're gonna need to sell something if we want that root. I'm gonna sell this squirrel. I don't think that it's actually, like it takes too long to pay out and I have, you know, better fish to fry. Might have to sell some crops as well at some point. But I want this potato. I do want this potato. I probably have too many crops right now. In fact, I don't even think I can plant all of these. Yeah, I have way too many crops way too many crops i need to expand our farm a bit so it, I, I noticed that it, it did wither the uh the vegetable did it plant something else instead i don't think it did i think we we get a card instead uh I, we're, we'll find out i'm sure draft an additional crop with similar type okay so that just gives us more draft we probably need less draft to be honest um, so you get to choose a reward passive after an a uncommon or rare crop matures gain it gains four value Add 20 val water. We are starting to lose water. We don't have enough water Um, so we're gonna need to buy another slot. We <laughs> We're running into problems here. So clearly what I need to do is I'm gonna sell a couple of redundant crops Like we don't need two kiwis for instance, and I need more water Okay, we could get another shears. That's interesting. Nothing wrong with consumables. I'm just not a huge fan. And this one is is the easiest to obtain. Eh, weird. Okay, so let's re-roll this. I really want a bitter plant. There we go. Vegetable bitter. Um, gonna go ahead and skip this because we really have enough plants. Common. Yeah, we, we get to draft more because I, I withered 
one of my plants, but I'm not really a huge fan of these ones either. We, I think I want to slim down to basically sour, bitter, root. Up, 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 up. Orange got two adjacent empty plots, so that was really nice. That was actually a really good harvest, 84 coins. So yeah, now that I have, like, I I've decided on a strategy, um, this is going to work out well. All crops gain one value for every 40 farm water gained. This is kind of okay, except we're not making enough water right now. When a crop matures, it gains two value of bitter and sweet set bonuses active. I actually don't think I like that because it, it kind of skews our strategy right now. So I'm going to skip those. Ugh, the one that's easiest is the one I, I want the least. All right, we'll go for the uncommon crops. Okay, so uh, none of these. We want sour. We do already have coffee bean and kiwi, but uh, redundancy isn't terrible. We'll take another kiwi. So we just got two kiwis. So we're going to start shearing those and we're also going to start selling our um, extras. This uh, this video is going to be long. I know it is. It's it's it, I knew it was going to be because the, the game you can play this for quite a while. Oh, we got so unlucky with that orange. Um, not a huge fan of any of these. I'm going to skip them. This is a I like this vegetable root because it synergizes with our sour plants. On mature draft an additional crop if around a crop that shares a type with it interesting well we do have a lot of fruit and actually fruit could be our like third secret synergy right because we actually have quite a bit of fruit let's see here yeah we've got the first set bonus for fruit oh this is an uncommon plant though so that was worth it up 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 I, I gotta say i i really like this game it's it's just like I don't know how to put it. It's it's addictive. Um, it's got some really crunchy synergies that you can kind of glom onto. I like these shears a lot. I'm going to continue grabbing these shears. Um, I like that as a strategy. I still want more sour bitter at most. So this one actually builds on keeping your farm quite low. And even though it's harder for us to achieve, I'm kind of cool with this. We could reroll this. I'm, I'm allowing myself like one reroll. Oh, we have another orange. I'll grab an orange. No empty slot. Ooh, I wonder what I should get rid of. Oh, you know what? We have money. Why don't we start upgrading? We'll grab that one and we'll grab this one. And then uh, I can throw all of our upgrades down here. Oh, right. I forgot you can upgrade these. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, it's like an entire extra mechanic in this game. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, you can just upgrade crops by combining them. Uh, I'm so sorry. Dev, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot an entire freaking mechanic in this game. So yeah, I mean, just like, you know, combine them. And then that way they, they're actually worth more now. So this one gains four value if adjacent to wet versus three value. Uh, probably want to upgrade our root vegetable and that'll gain more if it's next to sour. Oh, I feel like such a dummy. <laughs> we can actually combine our shears as well. What does this one do now? Oh, it gives us a 25% uh, for uncommon. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh God, I feel so bad about that actually. <laughs> Thing to re remember is that though you can upgrade these, um, they're actually not worth as much as the sum of their parts. So like, you know, 40 versus 35. So if I combine these two, I actually lose water, but I gain space which is a really clever way of doing that. And I can actually combine these bitter and sour permits as well. God, probably it's worth keeping both for now. Um, so I will keep both. We're gaining 116 per crop. We only need to make 80 for our payment. So I think I'm doing pretty well here and we'll combine. Yeah, okay. So now this one will draft an additional crop, but we have a 10% chance for uncommon. Yeah, you can't combine two different rarities. So this one is like two stars. So we need another two star to combine. This is a kind of like very standard auto chess mechanics. I think if you've played any auto chess game, uh, a lot of this will feel familiar. You were required to pay the loan payment for the farm or, or the farm will be confiscated. We did. Summer's upon us. Here's an additional sprinkler to help you. Oh, thank you. It's like you uh, knew exactly what I needed. All crop cards cost one additional water. No. Oh, no. Uh, draft a fruit crop card. Cards sell. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind having some more fruit cards. Reduce the water cost of any crop card by three if it shares a type with a crop card before mulch. 
this seems very good. Um, it'll reduce my cost at the very least. I'm gonna re-roll these. I'm gonna grab this orange because uh, I would like to combine our orange. So this one says, reduce the water cost of any crop card by three. If it shares the type of the crop card before mulch. So we have to place this between two crops. So like if I put this uh, like here, then, you know, it's reducing the cost of orange. Okay, we're still not meeting water demands because like a lot of these plants actually require a lot of water. Yeah, they do require more water each. Like they have, a, there's a varying water cost for, for plants. Well, we not, we want another veg, a vegetable bitter. Is this an uncommon? It is an uncommon. We'll definitely grab that. Um, yeah, this is getting a little bit scary. We don't, we're not reaching uh, our bitter and uh, sour quota. Um, Throw that on there and now we should be okay but i don't we're not making enough water i think the orientation does matter i think that this bottom row basically doesn't get planted at all i wasn't gaining any water because i wasn't getting anything from the sprinklers when a fruit or seed matures it gains three value if it is adjacent to a fruit or seed yeah i mean this is going to be good i do need an empty slot for it we'll um is there anything that can be combined right now? There are, but I'd prefer not to. Let's just uh, open up a couple of these slots and grab that. Crop matures against two value if there are at most 18 crops on the farm. We'll definitely do that. And shears, more shears are tempting because then I can combine them and increase their value. Wouldn't mind having another alcohol permit because those are actually quite good. We have a lot of fruit and seed. So we'll grab that. Root, spicy, that's an uncommon. Gain three value for each unique flavor adjacent to it interesting so i'll re-roll once herb sour that's nice it's a unique vegetable yeah we do kind of have room because i could combine those so you really yeah i mean like this is kind of like your deck hand in the ways but you have two different deck hands one gets planted uh and kind of used and then the other one is like your reserve we could combine our cucumbers. I kind of liked keeping them both because they do, they are worth quite a bit of money. Spread to adjacent unused plot. When adjacent to wet, this can happen up to one time for each cucumber. Well, at least we have our sour and bitter bonus. That's, that's all I ask, honestly. But yeah, let's grab this lemongrass and then we can upgrade that. We'll grab this beet vegetable. Not enough room, right? Okay, um, we'll have to combine something. Let's combine these. this lemongrass. And I guess we'll have to combine the cucumber. I didn't want to, but we will. We'll grab the beet and then, oh, we can actually combine this these two beets. So that becomes like a, a three-star beet. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. We got, our, we got our water reserves back. That means we could probably take a couple of those off or maybe just like upgrade a couple and then take a couple off um still no sour we got oh there's a sour bitter bonus perfect getting an orange would be good because then we could combine getting another beet would be oh no cucumbers are are uncommon oh okay now uh, let me do it i guess you can't do it from this bottom row you got to do it between rows it's a little strange i guess we still are do we have every single flavor still do we have spicy no we don't have spicy we're spicy no spicy there's no spicy all right, we're gonna we're gonna sell this. I'm actually gonna combine these as well. I think I, I'm I'm okay for water now, and I'm going to bring these guys back up here. Let me see. Just make sure there's no redundancy for now. I don't see any redundancy. We had a little bit less water. Our our water costs are actually not bad, and we can see we're we're making plenty of water from our two sprinklers. Um, reroll. Coffee bean. Oh, always with a coffee bean. I want to see a different bean. Well, there's a cocoa bean, so I guess that's me. Um, I like the cucumber, though. So let's grab the cucumber. So I'll reroll that. Let's combine our cocoa beans. And then let's combine our cucumbers. And then we have a three-star cucumber. Okay, things are actually starting to pop off a little bit. I could um, upgrade... Yeah, let's upgrade this, and we'll be able to ha have all of our vegetables on, on the field. Definitely, if I had done things differently, I'd have more upgrades down here. I'm keeping our farm fairly small. Might be a mistake, but, um, you know, we're doing pretty well for value. We've got 173. I'm not even I'm not even really looking at what the what the mission is, which is probably a mistake. 
This uh, seed spicy, black pepper, that's actually quite good. We do like the seed. On mature gain times two value multiplier. Wow. And then more cocoa bean. We like the cocoa bean. We do like them them seed. And I think if it, uh, if it's next to cucumber, then that'll actually synergize with cucumber a little bit. Nah, the cucumber didn't get the spread. But still, we're, we're making a good amount of money. Next payment, 150 in one harvest. We completed a contract and we got another alcohol permit. Uh, I like the shears. I'm gonna grab the shears and this one's a really easy one to pull off. Uh, more cocoa bean and also more rice. We're getting four drafts now. We must be doing something right. Uh, we're gonna need to combine things like right away though. Yeah, we'll com get the rice because we can't really combine our cocoa beans easily. Flower seed, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. While on farm game, two value after every 10 cards played. We could get the kiwi. That would actually let us ca kind of cascade our kiwis a little bit. The, semen, the lemongrass is pretty good. All right, so, I mean, yeah, we just like keep things going. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, the cucumber got to spread a little bit there. So what was, what was it next to? Where was the wet? Oh yes. We get our, our third bitter and sour permit. Amazing. We've got, we're getting some really good uh, bonuses here. I mean, yeah, this is this is working out well. We are gonna have to start combining things like our, our set bonuses, our uh, bitter and, and sour permit bonuses and our alcohol permits. Remove a plot from your farm, unlimited use, right click to use. So this is kind of what I was talking about before in that you can kind of um, rearrange your farm in the future. We do need an empty slot for it, so I will uh, upgrade our farm. Uh, we could definitely use another sprinkler, maybe, yeah. So I'll upgrade this again. That's expensive, but it'll be worth it. And then I'll combine that sprinkler with that sprinkler. I think I just want another beat. Uh, things are getting a little bit untenable. All right, let's upgrade these permits and these permits. And we'll upgrade those. Oh, I didn't upgrade this rice. I didn't have to. Ah, uh, oh, that, that hurts. But yeah, now what we could do is uh, something like I did in one of my playthroughs is I had a lot of plants that were like gain a bonus if next to uh, empty plots. So then you can use this shovel to basically make a checkerboard pattern and then they all gain their set bonus. Uh, I don't know if that'll be necessarily helpful in this regard, but we could do something fun. Like if we upgrade in kind of like this fashion and then use this and grab, make another hole, then we have a better chance, I think, of uh, plants being adjacent to each other. I could be wrong about that, but there's a there's a strategy here that I don't fully understand, which I want to I want to experiment with it. I think that worked out well. We got 271 from that rotation. This added plus seven to each. This added plus three to two. So I guess that one's not giving us as much as I had hoped. I guess they need to be adjacent to each other for it to, to actually do something. I do want, oh, I, I do want more mulch, but this one is gonna be very hard for us to achieve. So I should probably go for this small farm permit. We could get a cocoa bean. I think I want a coffee bean though, so I can actually combine those like right away then combine those and we actually gain some space back and then we'll start doing coffee beans or I guess the black pepper would be better because it's an uncommon and then we can combine them reroll those I guess with watermelon we do want to build other synergies not just like sour and bitter so like having variety with fruit would be good same with like vegetable maybe so having having a variety there would be good but I'm not uh, blind to the fact that it's you know uh, I'm 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 adding more crops and things are going to get even weirder and spicier. Add four value to all crops. This should probably be after all the crops. Oh, right. So you, uh, meaning you put it at the very end. We don't have enough money to, to buy our last slot here. So let's just take off one root vegetable and then add this to the very end. That's just money. Do, 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 do. Nice. Oh, we got 300 from that. We completed one of our things. We got another, we could get another shears. When a crop matures, it gains two value if it is adjacent to an empty plot. So yeah, this one is actually really worth it. I wanted the shears, but that's actually a really good one. Uh, we did manage to plant the whole farm. Like 
1200 oh jesus it's a ridiculous farm right now can we combine these yeah and we can combine those perfect is that a small farm permit yeah we we take those okay i don't think there's anything else i want i think this is like also one of the things that makes this game stand out is that like you are allowed to snowball in a very ludicrous way in the same way that uh you were in Bellatro. i think that's one of the reasons it reminds me of that game is Bellatro allows you to snowball it doesn't stop you repay full loan this will result in a victory we've done it 19,000. We apparently harvested 460 crops. So we have a, a just additional modes. Oh, that's another thing. I appreciate that it just asks you, like, do you want to unlock all your modes right away so you don't have to, like, incrementally unlock content? You just, like, get everything? I kind of like that. That's really nice. Uh, you know, crop rotation. Have you played it? Let me know in the comments. I know this was a stupidly long video. If this video is less than an hour and 40 minutes, you're welcome. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.